This is episode number 295 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Hello and welcome. Sal DiVincenzo here in the studio with my fabulous colleague, Sarah Fade. Hello. And Nicole Rambo. Hello. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Uh, we are once again here at the Media Recording Studio in the Innovation Space in Center Reach. And uh, it's lovely to see everybody. We have something special mm-hmm. for this a week's episode. It, it is October. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or as like we call like to call it Spooktober. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just us, nobody else. Yes. <laughs> we, we coined that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> trademark. Uh, yes, trademark. TM, TM. Uh, you know, copyright uh, pending. Anyway, I thought we'd do some trivia. Because yeah, we, right. we haven't done trivia in a while, mm-hmm. and I thought we would do a uh, scary oh. themed trivia. Okay. Well, okay. This is Sarah's bread and butter, so. This is, this is yeah. Sarah's yeah. wheelhouse, it as is. they like to say. Uh, so I have, I, I printed something out, and I'm sorry this, we're not video yet, but I did print something mm-hmm. out. It's got four <laughs> categories. Because <Our> <laughs> <laughs> I break the camera every time you try to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Where'd the camera go? Yeah. <laughs> playing a new game. It's called Scavenger Hunt. Okay, so it's uh, we have four uh, mm. questions per category here. We mm-hmm. have scary movies, spooky stories, spooky places, and that's creepy, which is just general trivia. A potpourri of scary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll go back and forth, and, and you can pick 10, 50, 100, or 200, kind of like uh, Jeopardy there. So Okay. All right, right. Who, who who wants to? Uh, we flipped a coin and Sarah won the coin toss. Okay, go ahead, Sarah. Let's go with scary movies for two hundred. <laughs> oh, scary out movies big. for two hundred. Do we have to? Do we have a buzzer? What are we doing? Uh, oh. No, yeah. You're are you keeping score? Scream. Okay, no, yeah. We so. should have a little buzzer that does like a scream. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to the two hundred uh, one is going to be a little more difficult, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know how it works. <laughs> is it? This happened the last the time we did one? this. Okay. Last time. <laughs> this is kind of like Jeopardy. No, Sal, it is Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Yeah. Okay, name this spooky movie. Okay. A strange prehistoric beast lurks in the depths of the waters of the Amazonian jungle. A group <clears throat> of scientists try to capture the animal and bring it back to civilization for study. Is LL Cool J one of the scientists? It's not Anaconda. Oh. No, LL Cool J <laughs> is not one of the scientists. Because it's not a pre. It's like, you know. It's you can a ask big giant snake. You're allowed, you're allowed, for, we're allowed for one hint. Okay, it's not Congo because those are apes. You can ask. You can ask for the hint, or you could just let it go. Okay. Okay. The hint yeah. is 1954. Thank you. Uh-huh. How'd you know? <laughs> Black and white. <laughs> Great. Even better. It's a horror movie. Yes, these are scary movies. This doesn't sound scary. Yes, because nothing in 1954 <laughs> was scary. No. Well, not now. <laughs> yes, that's true. It's not Journey to the Center of the Earth. No, because no. it's the Amazonian jungle. I know, I'm thinking. Journey to the Amazon. Journey to the Amazonian forest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 1954. Five. What was it? Four. 54. Okay, you got five seconds. Um, <laughs> well, you can always edit out me thinking. <laughs> <laughs> which, also, which I do all do, the time. Two with hours all later. <laughs> oh, yeah, do the little SpongeBob. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh. oh. Really, I thought that was a lagoon <laughs> in the swamps, not Amazonian lagoons. Yes, that is a creature from the. Okay. 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 Right. Well, I'm so, just saying that's n- not n- really. <laughs> No, no points. Off good. No points yeah. for you. L- Lagoon and Amazon are not really synonymous. No points for no? you. I, I'm what? sorry. Really? Really? When you think of the Amazon, do you think of swampy lagoons? Lagoons. No. You think of a I don't river? Know. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I would think of a river. Okay, so Sarah has. I don't know what a lagoon is. Where are lagoons? Zero points. Louisiana in the swamps. That's a swamp. I wouldn't think of a lagoon there either. Uh, the Blue Lagoon. Right. Where's that? <laughs> Miami. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. It's, it is. It's right by the airport. Yeah. Okay. So, no, I'm, I'm serious. It really is a place called the Blue Lagoon. The pl- place, right? not an actual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Nicole. Nicole yeah, has yeah. to pick. Nicole All right. Has to pick. Um, let's go with spooky <clears throat> places for 100. Spooky places for 100. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to pick something that's not too difficult for you. Um, <laughs> Just pick the 100 was, one. I don't that know. was not. That oh, wait. Was not okay, wait. That, yeah, that was rude. That was not also. meant as a slight. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. <laughs> While you're doing that, a lagoon is a shallow body of water <laughs> separated from a larger body of water okay. by a narrow landform, such as a reef, 
barrier island or a peninsula. So can they be in the rainforest? No! Why? <laughs> Say, can they be in the rainforest? Okay. Lagoons. Yes, ask your AI friend. In, lagoons in the Amazon. Let's see how many pop up. <laughs> the one black one. <laughs> Okay, so so I'm sorry. So you picked what? What spooky places for 100? Spooky places for 100. So it's not the super easy one. <laughs> yeah, because it's the 100 one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the second hardest. With the low is being 10. Okay. 10, 50, 100, 200. The remains of how many people Ooh. may be buried in the dank, dark catacombs of Paris? And this is a multiple choice question. Oh, okay. Ow. Is it six thousand? You're gonna say in the basement of the library. Six thousand. <laughs> 60,000, 600,000, or 6 million? Whoa. I'm going to say 60,000. B. Incorrect. Okay. It's 6 million. <laughs> what? Yes. A lot of dead people. In the <clears throat> late 18th century, when, a major public, when major public health problems tied to the uh, city's cemeteries led to a decision to transfer their contents to an underground site, they created this place, the catacombs. It was, the site was consecrated what? as the Paris Municipal Ossuary on April 7th, 1786. And there are uh, at least 6 million down there. Wow. And you can visit them uh, by appointment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I should still corrected. on this lagoon Yes, thing. I am. I am. But I, I am uh, wrong. Okay. There are millions of lagoons. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Count, countless <laughs> lakes. <laughs> La wait, wait, countless lakes, lagoons, and beaches. Ooh. The Amazon is one of the most exciting and diverse swimming spots in the world. Uh, oh, there you go. But this is th these are facts from the AmazonCruise.net website. Oh, okay. <laughs> they so want a little biased they want about their. There. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I never heard. Let's go swimming in the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of let's go swimming with something we buy from Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Okay, Sarah, you pick one. Uh, let's go with just that's creepy for ten. That's creepy <laughs> for ten. Yeah, so far these I need to redeem level ones. myself okay. a little. Uh, which filmmaker's work largely developed the modern zombie? Is it George A. Romero, Wes Craven, John Carpenter, or Sam Raimi? Yeah, it better be Romero. That's right. <laughs> the work of the filmmaker, yeah. uh, including The Night of the Living Dead, largely <laughs> developed the modern fictional yeah, zombie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Sarah gets 10 points. I'm putting you on the board here. This is easy because I just added one before the zero. Oh, you're not, we're not doing negatives. Thank God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm at okay. negative 190. All right, Woo. Nicole, you pick next. <laughs> All right. Let's do... Spooky stories for 50. Spooky stories for 50? Yeah. Okay. A couple move into an old apartment building mm -hmm. renowned for its ominous reputation. Mm -hmm. An older couple begins taking interest in the woman and her husband, mm -hmm. especially after she becomes pregnant. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the couple is not what they seem. What book is this? Well, I'm just Rosemary's Baby. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> Very good. Rosemary's Baby. It's uh, by, by Ira uh, Levin. And you get 50 points. Yeah. In there, right? Sorry, your turn. Let's do scary movies for a hundred. Right. Scary movies for a hundred. A single mother and yep. her child fall into a deep <laughs> well of paranoia when an eerie children's book manifests in their home. Is it the Baba Duke? It is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Look how easy that is. So you had 10, and now I could just add another one in between, and now you have one too. I was watching this show recently, <laughs> and then this couple was, like, breaking up, and he said something like, you're seeing someone else, and she's like, yeah, his name is the Babadook, and he's actually great with children. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> okay, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> That's my only contribution. I have no idea what the Babadook is about, but... I heard that recently. Um, let's go. That's creepy for 200. That's creepy Ooh. for 200. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. But I feel like you don't, you're just picking. I am. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any numbers on these pieces of paper. I, I didn't think this one out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Perhaps best known for the lottery. Which author was oh. a National Book Award finalist on, in 1960? No, I don't know this, but I know for a I know. novel. You know this about a haunted house. This should be in spooky stories. Yeah, well, this is just general. <laughs> okay, do you want a hint? Yeah. Well, I can give. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not taking over your role. <laughs> no, no, no. I well, want two hints. Two hints. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll give the book. Right. 
the book that this person wrote? Well, you already said the lottery. No, there's That's another book. One he, oh, just yeah. if you didn't get just, it from that one, you're not going to get it. Yeah. So the, the book is The Haunting is. of Hill House. Oh, I saw the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a woman. It's a woman, yeah. Does that help? No. From what 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 year? It's old. Yeah. 1960. Oh, really? But it takes place older. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, I'm not a good I feel like every brain. kid has to read this. It's like a high school book. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Oh, I can give you, I can actually, I can give her choices. Let's do multiple choice. How about? Oh, that? come on. I don't know. Yes, is you it, will. Once you hear it. Arthur Miller. Well, you just said it's a woman, so. Oh shoot, <laughs> you did. Arthur Miller, yeah. uh, Janet Jackson, <laughs> Shirley Jackson, or Ray Bradbury. Oh geez, I wonder. I still don't know. Is Shirley Jackson? Yes. <laughs> Shirley Jackson. Shirley Jackson. Shirley Jackson. We'll give it to you, I guess. She's quite we'll impressive. Partial credit. No. Miss <laughs> Jackson. You get a hundred points for partial credit. Okay. Sarah, why don't you go? Um, wait, what's 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 left? Spooky stories. Spooky stories. <clears throat> All right, yeah, you just don't don't. Whichever random don't pick, piece of yeah. paper you pick up. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> All right. This is for the 10. This is okay, the 10. for the 10. Okay. All right. A man sees a stint as a winter caretaker of a Colorado hotel as a way oh, back from failure. The shinin. His, that's right. <laughs> His wife sees it as a chance to preserve their family, and their five-year-old son sees evil. <laughs> <laughs> the Shining by Stephen mm. King. Yes. Spooky <laughs> stories. Okay, Nicole, why don't you go? Scary movies for a 10. Scary <laughs> movies for 10. Mm. Picking a random one. And this is a, this is a 10. Okay. A teenager must uncover the dark truth concealed by her parents after she and her friends become targets of the spirit of a serial killer with a bladed glove in their dreams. Oh, Freddy in which, Krueger? In which they die. In, in, Nightmare on Elm Street. In which, if they die, <laughs> yeah. it kills them really. Yes, Nightmare on Elm Street from yeah. 1984. Wow, I didn't realize it was that old. That yes. All right. And my cousin did good. chased my other cousin around the house with the Freddy Krueger mask and a knife when we were little. <laughs> Normal. Uh, all right. Normal behavior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah. Yes. You pick something. Uh, spooky places, please. Spooky places. The Tower of London is supposedly mm. haunted by which ghost? It's going to be multiple choice. Oh, good. The Duke of Gloucester, mm -hmm. Henry the Sixth, William the Conqueror, or Queen Victoria? I want to say the Queen. Queen Victoria. No, I'm sorry. It's Henry the Sixth. It's Henry. Did they write a song about him? Imprisoned, imprisoned in the Wakefield Tower uh. of the Tower of London, Henry the Sixth was murdered at the altar in the King's private chapel in 1471, close to midnight. Mm -hmm. Henry's ghost is believed to haunt the Wakefield Tower, appearing at the stroke of midnight. Oh wow! Yeah, I went there. It was Henry the Eighth. I did too. Did I you take the little, the little tram? Not the tram, but like the moving sidewalk to see the the, the crown jewels. Yeah, they yeah. put you on that. And you're like, crown oh, look. jewels. Yeah. It's like you're at an airport. You know the moving sidewalk in the airport. Yeah, you yeah, don't want yeah. people just like so you get on it and you're like, eh. <laughs> like look there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, crown yeah. jewels. <laughs> okay, the head. You've been to London, have you, sir? Mm -hmm. Did you go there? I did not do anything productive when I was in London. Oh no. Yeah, I did lots of. Went to the pub. Yeah, yeah. That, it was. <laughs> you like sightseeing. It was more fun times yeah. than learning times. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Better. All right. So we have uh, we okay. have uh, a nice selection here, so you can pick again. Okay. What's uh? We'll do places again. Places. Oh. Name the haunted California home. That grew from eight rooms to 160 rooms. Oh, while, the Winchester House? While owned by an eccentric, an eccentric rifle heiress. Oh. You were right, the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah, there's like doors that don't go anywhere. You can like fall out. Exactly. <laughs> so it's 24,000 square feet, 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 160 rooms, 52 skylights, 47 oh. stairways and fireplaces, 17 chimneys, 13 bathrooms, and six kitchens. Six oh, kitchens. Can you like visit? Like, is it like a? You can visit, yeah, it's a museum. A museum, yeah, museum. Yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. an attraction. That's yeah, cool. Definitely, yeah, I want to go to that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, Sarah. All right, what's left? Oh, uh, we have spooky places, spooky movies, spooky stories, and that's creepy. Uh, I'll go with the movies. Movies. <clears throat> yeah, I okay. Like movies. All right. When strange seeds drift to Earth from space, mysterious pods begin to grow and invade San Francisco. Replicating the city's Ooh. residents one body at a time. Is it invasion of 
Body Snatchers? It is. 1978. <laughs> oh. Starring Donald Sutherland and a young Jeff Goldblum. Oh, yeah. he must have been real young. Yes. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, very good. I figure you get most of the movies, but if they're as if long they're as they're older, color, yeah, they're I'm color, not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the okay. June one. I stop. I stop. <laughs> I stop taking. I stop taking a score. Go ahead, Nicole. Oh, winners. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, creepy. Creepy. An esteemed 18th century cabinet maker who turned to burglary to fund his gambling problem <laughs> keeps getting better. Was the inspiration for which monster? This is multiple choice. Oh. Is it Freddy Krueger? Mr. Hyde, the Invisible Man, or Pennywise? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? what, what, what? <laughs> An esteemed 18th century cabin maker who turned to burglary to fund his gambling problem was the inspiration for which monster? Hyde? Correct. For about 20 years, Deacon William Brody was a well-respected carpenter by day and a burglar by night. <laughs> Fascinated by Brody's double life, Robert Louis Stevenson co-wrote a a biographical play about him in 1880. Biographical. <laughs> Six years later, Brody's dual nature served as the inspiration for the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, uh, good for him. Yes. I'm surprised his cabinet makers make a lot of money now. Exactly. Why is he They charge you ever trying to get cabinets? Holy All right. Liars, though. Sarah, we only, <laughs> we only have four questions left, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh, just, sure. There's four questions left, so this is spooky places. Okay. You better get this one right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Stony Brook restaurant is said to be haunted by uh. a Revolutionary War era woman who welcomed British soldiers <laughs> into her home. Is it uh, Raymond Hall Colonial House, Country House, or Wickham Farm? I think it's Country House. It is Country House yeah. because Ooh. you helped Mr. Ward do a video. I did. His, <laughs> I did. The house, which is now home to the Country House restaurant mm-hmm. in Stony Brook, was built around 1710 and purchased and enlarged in 1740 by Obadiah Davis, whose family lived here for four generations. Everybody was named Obadiah. About and it. yes, and <laughs> there is a, uh, a ghost in the house of a woman. Oh. Who unfortunately was murdered by uh, British soldiers. Well, she shouldn't have let him in. Uh, she turned exactly. Coat. Yeah, see <laughs> that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nicole, that's yeah. creepy. Are sure. you ready? Ready. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, mm. what does the monster allegedly need from his home country to stay healthy? Is it dirt, clothing, food, or bedding? Dirt. Dirt is correct. <laughs> and if this was a video podcast, <laughs> you'd see Sarah pointing to the ground. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula is in the possession of 50 boxes of dirt from his home country, which he allegedly needs to stay healthy. Yeah, what's his home country, Transylvania? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Uh, Six, five hundred. Is it Bul- Bulgaria or mm. Rom- Romania? Is Romania. It, is it Romania? Romania, yes. Mm. Okay, Sarah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spooky, sto- sp- spooky stories. You should get this one. A superstitious schoolmaster in love with a wealthy farmer's daughter has a terrifying encounter with a headless horseman. Oh. No. Do you know what the story is actually called? It's something... Something, something, Washington Irving. <laughs> is it like the, sli- the Sleepy Hollow? It's, it's like, like 500 Nights of Sleep or some. Yes, like- 1001 <laughs> Tales. No, it's like the long nap of... A- Yes. Washington Irving or something like that? Yeah, it is, yeah. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a nap. <laughs> <laughs> 5,001 naps right. of a headless horseman, Ichabod Crane. Last be, question. That's the story I'd write. <laughs> Last question, Nicole, and unfortunately this is a difficult one, so how about the two of you try to do this one? <clears throat> you might, you might you keep know Keep insulting one. me. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying it's a difficult question. It's all right. I didn't know the answer of this. I have the answers in front of me. Spooky stories. Spooky stories. It's a long one, too. An Antarctic expedition Mm -hmm. arrives at their base, where the group are thrilled to unearth the remains of a previously undiscovered prehistoric animal. However, their excitement soon turns to terror as they realize that these quote-unquote specimens may not be so lifeless after all. So this is a science fiction cla- yeah. or yeah. a classic writer, horror, a sci-fi horror, author? sci-fi horror author from the th- like a early like thirties, forties. So yeah, was that the only one I know is not yeah. H.G. Wells? No, no, but you're close. You're <laughs> close. This author has this author has initials for their first. They're known oh. by their first two initials. It's not H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. It is H.P. Lovecraft. Is it the Call of Jalulu? 
No, it's not. It's only one I know, but I love crafts. Okay. It's at, at the Mountains of Madness. Oh, hmm. uh, yeah, no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, you both did great. Uh, yeah. I don't care what anybody says about you. You're both smart. It's scary how bad I am at this. <laughs> yeah. That's a new quiz. Yeah. Yes. And I would be bad it too because spooky. I because you know I have the answers, so it's I'm I at think a disadvantage. We did good. We, we did got great. more than half. Oh, absolutely, definitely more than half. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> Even without the pointing at the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so that does it for this uh, this episode. If you want to listen to older episodes or read our show notes, visit our website, mcplpodcast.com. Watching on YouTube, hit the like button and hit subscribe. We'd love for you to subscribe. we got some great stuff coming up in the future, so definitely subscribe so this way you know it's coming. So for Sarah Fade and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show. Boo. <laughs>